Groff won the 1993 U.S. Open. But her New York story really picked up steam when she renewed her rivalry with Monica Seles several years later. Monica had been gone from tennis for more than two years. The result of the tragic incident where a deranged fan had stabbed her during a match in Hamburg. Monica and Steffi staged a fine three-set U.S. Open final in 1995. And a year later, these two gritty baseliners went toe-to-toe -to -toe once again in Louis Armstrong Stadium. By this time, Monica's comeback was thriving. Earlier that year, she had won the Australian Open. Groff had won the French and Wimbledon. So in large part, this final would determine who in 1996 was the world's best. She and I had probably some of the most amazing matches of my career. Every one of them was very long, hard hit, and it was always like 6-3, six, 6-4 six, in the third set. And we both had such opposing styles, yet we both brought out, I think, the best in each other because one thing I think she and I were huge competitors. I mean, we both wanted to win every single point. Steffi had brought a new level of power and athleticism, speed, into the women's game. But Monica came along with a different brand of power tennis because she had two-handed strokes off both sides. She respected Monica and Steffi Grafton more than any other player. She knew there was no one quite like Monica to bring out her best tennis. The stabbing of Celis by a maniacal fan of Groff, it, it kind of elevated the rivalry that was already headed for the elite level. But it was, it made the rivalry all that much more tense. I think as the viewer, you were more uneasy watching them play after that stabbing incident because you knew what had happened. The 96 final between Groff and Sellis was a tight match, and you just had this sense that when, when Monica Sellis was absent, completely understandably, but something went out of her. She was just this fierce, fierce competitor on the court, brutal competitor, and you just have the feeling in her absence, it really wasn't her stroke so much as this, this strand of invincibility that went out. And you saw it in this match. <laughs> That match uh, in 96 was, I think, a different match than the 95 because I was, I just knew that I wasn't the same player in terms of being as good as when I left. So I was like, oh, I don't know if I can really win the US Open. And as a player, when you start having those thoughts, then you might as well check out. When Steffi played Monica in the mid-90s after Monica's return, it was really so much more than the tennis. It was so much more than forehands and backhands and fitness. It was really just such a, a mental affair. There was so much freight, so much baggage on both sides of the net. And a lot of times you just had the feeling Groff's steeliness, her, her mental edge is what got her through these matches. It really didn't have anything to do with who was serving better that day. You, you just had the feeling that, that Groff was the mentally superior player and that was enough to win those matches. I remember just kind of, it was eerie, knowing the history of Celis and Groff and what had happened, and there was this storm brewing towards the end of the match. I served and, and played incredibly well, very un few unfirst errors, so I think I played my best today. Groff wins, and all of a sudden, they're standing on the trophy presentation platform, and the winds are blowing, this sort of biblical rainstorm, and uh, it, it was just a strange afternoon. It was raining during the presentation ceremony, but Graf looked as if she were standing in the sunshine. She was so happy. Steffi was one of the most unassuming and most modest champions around. She just loved to compete through thick and thin, through hell and high water, whatever, whatever the conditions obtained. She went through quite a few struggles there with family and things like that. But she was 
there to the end, all the time, gave 100%. She's absolutely the model champion. When she went on the court, she was always prepared, in shape, ready to compete 100% every single day, no excuses, didn't matter if she had an injury or if there was some personal issue. She always seemed to be able to figure it out and what she needed to do. And I always felt, no matter who Steffi was playing, for that long period when she was at the top of the game, I always felt that she was going to win. I just felt that she had this ability to dig a little deeper than, than the opponent. I think Steffi's one of the most memorable emotional times was her winning majors at the U.S. Open. Steffi Graf won five U.S. Open championships, making a mark with her tremendous work ethic, distinctive playing style, and keen appetite for competition. It's an impressive legacy, the kind of all-court excellence you'll see only at the Open.